in the works to protect and preserve Hoosier black history. It's part of a new effort through Indiana Landmarks Organization. CBS 4's Leah Blackburn explains the focus of the Black Heritage Preservation Program. It's the sounds of reclaiming culture. Thursday night was a step back in time at the Indiana Landmarks building, celebrating the roots of Hoosier black history, but also the work that's needed to preserve it. That is one of the issues that our um, history has to confront. We've told you about the stories of historic locations like Indiana Avenue. History paints it in the early 1800s as the mecca for black families settling in Indianapolis. But besides some structures like the Madam C.J. Walker building, little is left to show of it. When we are seen as a people without a history, the perspective of us, of us and our contributions um, is just missing from the historical landscape. And that's what Eunice Trotter is hoping to change. As director of the Indiana Landmarks New Black Heritage Preservation Program, she says millions of dollars in grant funding will help support research, preservation, and recognizing similar sites throughout the state. Trotter says they're already eyeing several sites, including this park named after Lieutenant Junior Grade Graham Edward Martin in Indianapolis. The Hoosier was part of the Golden 13, the first group of African-American men to train and be officers in the U.S. Navy in 1944. Augmented reality or markers or memorial benches or you name it, there's a, there are a lot of other ways to recognize that heritage. The opportunities are endless, and Trotter says they're wasting no time in getting to work. We're just really excited about all the potential that we have to make a difference here in Indiana, make an Indiana leader in the preservation movement around the country. In Indianapolis, Aaliyah Blackburn, CBS 4 News. Trotter also says this is a team effort. They're looking for writers, historical researchers, and other positions to help support this statewide vision. We've got more on how to help at cbs4indy.com.